Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I am going to be packing my um, hospital bag. I already had it all packed up, but I wanted to go ahead and like show you guys everything that I'm going to put back into it. Um, as I put it all back in, I wanted to show you what I'm doing. Um, I am 39 weeks, 3 days today. So... I am so ready. I honestly didn't even think I was going to ever get to this video, um, but I have the time, so here I am. So, um, where do I want to start? I'm going to go ahead and start with my things here. So, first thing, I am bringing a little robe. It's like long sleeve, but it's shorter. It's not as big as my normal robes. I am going to bring that for just kind of laying around. I'll probably be in like the sports bra, or not sports bra, but like nursing bra. Um, so I have a few things here that I'm bringing. I'm not bringing a whole lot, because I kind of am figuring I am going to probably be in like the sports bra, or I keep saying sports bra, uh, like nursing bra and like my robe most of the time. Um, but I did bring this going home outfit. Um, it's a sweatpants with a long sleeve kind of cropped top. Um, comes to like just below my belly right before it ends. Now, so I figured, I know it won't like fit all cute or anything, but I figured I'd bring that then while I am there, I have an extra nursing bra. I do want to grab, I might grab one more, um, but I think I only have, cause I have one that's a Victoria's Secret like regular bra, but it's also a nursing bra. And then I have three that are like more sports bra like. Um, so I wear the, the Victoria's Secret one now, which is why I bought it. Um, and then I have this one and two more. So I'm kind of like hesitating on if I want to bring one to the hospital or not. Because then if I come home and I'm wearing, I bring two, then I only have like one bra for when I get home and another sports bra. And I don't know how soon I'm going to want to do laundry. Um... So, I don't know. I might just bring the one and just kind of, like, deal with it, I guess. And then just whatever bra I'm wearing, wear or something. I might try and, like, wear a sports bra in or something. But anyway, so, yeah, that's my plan with that. And then I have two pairs of underwear. I brought one, like, kind of, like, granny panty underwear. And then I brought one that's, like, uh, my favorite, like, sport uh, boy shorts. But I brought these ones because I poked, like, a little hole at the top of them. So I know that they're white and they'll probably get ruined. But instead of throwing them away in the laundry, I decided I'd bring it to the hospital. And if they get ruined, I was planning on throwing them away anyways. So I figured I would probably hang out a lot of times in these. The sports bra, or the nursing bra, and the robe for most of the time that I'm there. And then these are probably for if I want to go home or if I want to wear, um, I also have some, I have three of these packed as well and I'll probably just either hang out like in these in the sports, in the nursing bra on the row. I don't really know. I, this is my first. So I'm kind of just bringing like a few things of each to just kind of be able to play it out and see how I feel while I'm there. And then while I'm there, if I do feel like I want to be a little bit more covered up, I am bringing this um, nurse maternity nursing shirt as well. It's like a pajama and it has like the button down. Um, so I figured I would bring this as well if I do want to be like just laying in bed and not have the robe on or to be more covered up or just however I feel. And then I don't know if I will actually wear these, but I wanted to have them again just in case. These are a pair of leggings. They're the um, compression ones at the top. So kind of just like help hold you all together. Um, 
yeah, like I said, I don't know if I will want to wear these at all, but I did want to bring them just in case I did want them. And then I am bringing for myself as well a pair of like fuzzy socks. Uh, they do have the, the grippies on them. Um, so yeah, I'm going to put these on the side here so I Max can just grab them out. And then I, on my list of things to bring was a towel. So I am going to bring a towel and I am bringing a bigger one. Um, one for just comfort and just being able to like have a big towel wrapped around. But I also wanted to bring it, it does say on like this like little paper that the dads aren't allowed to shower, but just in case he can for some reason or um does get a chance to shower um we can just use the same towel um and that one will be totally fine um i'm also trying to like do this in order of packing it all back in there so this is my like little to-go bag there are definitely things in here that i will not be using and i am fully aware of that um this is just normally like always packed and i just can just grab it for when we go to a hotel, we go on a trip, and I like to try and keep enough stuff in here for like about five to seven days, um, just cause you never know what could happen when you go on a trip. It could be that long or like something could happen. So I have like, um, like a full tube of toothpaste in here, or toothbrushes, I have tampons from when I was like before I was pregnant. But I have like um, men's and women's raisins in here, Max's beard care stuff, um, dry shampoo, and then a spray and lotion. Probably won't use anything in this bottom one, to be completely honest. Uh, brush my teeth, obviously. And then this is uh, Max's body wash, um, some face wash, my body wash, shampoo, and then two sets of shampoo and conditioner in there as well. I probably like will not be washing my hair while I'm there. Um, I've been doing pretty good about trying to wash my hair, like, every, like, four or five days rather than a week, just so that way, if I do end up going in the hospital, I'm pretty much, like, ready and I don't have to wash my hair. Um, but yeah, so I just wanted to keep all this in here, though, in case for whatever reason I felt completely gross, my head was all sweaty from, you know, giving birth or blood gets in my hair or just whatever because normally my hair's not down usually it's up in a ponytail but still even up in a ponytail I just you know I may want to wash my hair so I have that there just in case so that is that so we're gonna throw this bit in here Okay, so then moving on to Max's stuff quickly. Um, I didn't bring a whole lot for him because if he can't be showering, then he's probably not going to be changing his clothes a lot. So I just went ahead and brought a long sleeve comfy uh, t-shirt, something he still really liked. Um, just that way he can be comfortable. And then a little bit nicer but still comfortable um, t-shirt just so that way we can like take probably like some like family pictures and this shirt is what I was thinking um I didn't really bring anything for me to do any like family pictures honestly like I said probably be in something kind of similar to this um and that's probably gonna be as far as it's gonna get so I brought those and then I did grab uh two sweatpants these ones are his uh we share these so I also brought these possibly for me to wear if he stays in these like the whole time or whatever else he wears to the hospital um I want him to be comfortable though so these are something that we can both wear so and then I just brought him some underwear simple underwear nothing fancy put his shirts in here okay so then on to some of the kind of like accessory-ish type stuff um, yeah. um so I am bringing three of the depends diapers just like I said I know that the doc the hospital there will have pads 
but they didn't say it didn't say I don't think it said disposable underwear which I would assume they would mm. okay so they do have panties there it says and pads um but I figured I would bring just three just in case um so I'm gonna throw those in there. Okay. So then grabbed a hairbrush with I think I believe I put two hair ties on here. Yeah, two hair ties. Uh one for me, one for Max. Just in case. I mean most of the time our hair is already up, but or we have like a hair tie on our wrist. But just in case one breaks or whatever. I wanted to have it. So then I also brought, I don't, it says it doesn't need any, but uh, I brought two sets of breast pads just in case, just to have. Um, I brought my prenatals for three days to have. So I've heard that you should still continue to take those. And then I also brought, um, this wasn't on the list, but I brought some nipple shields as well, um, just, just in case. Wanted to have them in case, you know, because obviously, I know breastfeeding is going to be painful, but somehow it could help. I want to do everything I can to help. So, then I also brought here, oh, I'll, I'm going to mention this real quick first. Uh, I'm not putting this in, but I will be taking this with me. This is just a belly band, um, just to help. I have been still using it, so um, I'm not going to pack it right away, but I that is something I am going to bring. And then this is just a little bag here of some makeup things. Um, I probably will add a few other things that I use, um, but I am going to bring that. Again, I probably won't do my makeup, but... I want to have it. So then I also am going to bring the LV pumps um, just because it says to bring them if you want help learning how to like use them or just whatever. So I'm going to bring those with me. I think that's all for this bag. So yeah, that's everything I'm bringing in this bag. Wait, I'm missing something. Yeah, here. It goes up here goes in the side pocket here um so I am bringing one second instead of bringing just like a super long phone charger buying a new phone charger we didn't have that we don't have a super long one and I didn't really feel like buying one hold on <coughs> all the talking so I decided to just go ahead and bring two portable chargers with a, oh, that almost hit me in the face, portable charger cord. And this cord also charges the LVs. So, um, multi-purpose, I figured, um, we can use it to charge our phones. We can also use this to charge up these up again. And then since we are going to bring a phone charger to go from here to our phones, um, if I absolutely have to, we can always just use the block and let it charge wherever. So um, I figured between just the setup, I feel like we will be okay. It, I don't know if this is brilliant or stupid. But I guess I'll find out. So, because we have quite a few of these uh, brick chargers. So, I just figured it'd be a little bit easier. So, we'll do that. And then the nice thing with that, too, is then I don't have to worry about if the cord's long enough or whatever. I can just charge it and then when, like, baby's sleeping, plug in those or just kind of however, or have like, use one, plug in one, use the other kind of thing. And they both have two ports, so like me and Max could both have our phones plugged in at the same time. So next, on top of the thing here, I'm going to put a blanket. Um, 
I'm just weird with fuzzy blankies, so um, I wanted to do that, and if I do end up liking the blankets that are provided, um, then Max has a blanket. Um, I just wanted to have a blanket. So that's that. I am also bringing, okay, so behind you is the car seat that's ready to go. I also have this bag that I'm bringing full of snacks. They're not like the healthiest snacks. They're just kind of snacks we have in the house and I threw in here. Got a lot of bag of chips. Got these like uh, peanut butter things we brought. Um, we got some nuts. Um, I brought some of these liquid IV packs for water. Um, I brought, just in case, I don't know if they'll have on my plate, but I brought a couple packs of popcorn. Um, so yeah, and quite a bit, excuse me, quite a bit of chips. And then, um, we're also, I, I had bought, Max came in and grabbed it and took it out, uh, a bag of beef jerky to go on top as well to be more filling. Um, so that's going, and then I kind of figured since you know you're kind of like supposed to take all of the stuff with you like the diapers and just extra wipes and creams and just all of that kind of stuff i kind of figure that as we start eating them we can kind of start putting that stuff in here as well as i also brought a separate little bag for baby and so we could some between this bag and this bag bring home all the extra stuff is what I'm thinking so that way I don't have to pack an extra bag of to take home extra stuff figure between this would be pretty good so that's going and then I also have over here too I have a folder for all of the medical stuff right now I just have my like um, list of things um, so things that I'm still going to bring and pack last minute is our laptop with the fire stick with the phone cords which one phone cord is in the car so no matter what we have that one um and then i'm gonna have max <clears throat> wear a sweatshirt there i'll probably do the same and then i'm probably gonna also bring a nursing tank top i don't know if i'm gonna wear it there or if i'm gonna just pack another one depending on what clothes are clean and then probably another nursing bra. I also have my my boppy here that I want to bring. So I'm gonna bring that. And then lastly, all of Baby Girl's things I have in here. I also have her name board in here with the letters. So that way um, we can announce her name. I also have in here a little husher, portable husher. Um, I've just heard that they're good to have in the hospital. Um, we may or may not use that, I don't know. We'll kind of see if she, if we feel like she needs it. And then something that they said that to bring was a nail clippers. Um, we've decided to use the like nail file here. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and bring that. Um, and then all her clothes are here so I'm gonna show you guys that I did put in here this is the thing for the uh, it's not necessarily it can be used as a nursing cover but it's for like the car seat so I wanted to keep that in here so it stay nice and then I brought this gray little hat and I brought this little white bow um, and then I brought one preemie outfit, which I may end up taking out now that I'm almost 40 weeks and still haven't gone into labor because I highly, highly doubt at this point that she's going to fit into preemie clothes. But it was this little onesie that says, welcome to the world with these pink bottoms. That's what I was going to have her wear with either then the gray hat or the white bow but I may end up taking that this outfit out now. But it is still so cute. And it fits so compact anyways, I may leave it in here. 
And then for newborn sized, I brought this onesie and it has like the little like mittens on it. And I just kind of brought this for like, which is kind of like while we're there, um, for when we're like not doing like tummy time or anything and she's not swaddled, just kind of to have. And then I also thought it would still be cute for like pictures maybe. And then another outfit. I know you're not supposed to bring a lot, but I just didn't know. And then for like pictures, I was thinking like, hello world, I'm new here. And it also has the mittens with these uh, black bottoms here. And then again, either the gray hat or the white bow. I wanted to bring something neutral that would kind of match with each outfit and each thing. And then this is kind of like for pictures. It says little sister. It does not have the things. And then I was going to bring that with these little denim pants. So those are the outfits that I'm taking. So there's like three outfits. I figured that it would be good so she can maybe still kind of have like one outfit a day. Most of the time she'll be probably in her diaper and um, not, why am I thinking sloth? She's in a sloth. That doesn't make any sense. Um, swaddle. So she'll be in her swaddle most of the time or doing like chest to chest or chest is just skin to skin. Um, either me or daddy. So I feel like it's not overpacking. It all fits in a gallon size Ziploc bag. So I feel like that's a good amount. And that's everything I'm bringing. Um, I don't really need a lot for her. It really does say that on their paper that you don't need to take a bring a lot for baby. But so all it says for uh, for baby to bring is outfit for pictures, outfit for going home. Don't mean don't need many clothes, skin to skin for the win, the baby carrier, the blanket or car seat, cover up for trip home. Got that, and then the nail clippers. That's all it says to bring for baby. Um, so that's pretty much all I'm bringing. I'm bringing extras in the form of like um, the breast pumps and stuff. So yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.